fronted with a diamond the size of a pigeon's egg. Roy pouted in excitement. Suddenly there was a noise outside the door. As a result of the excitement, the diamond fell into a crevice on the spot. He played it cool. He'll just take it out later. But the chief ordered him to come down, because this pile of evidence, to be used as bait for the robber's lair. What the hell? Roy's face was full of reluctance. He watched the diamonds being pushed away. He finally found the courage. He offered to infiltrate the enemy with his cargo. The director was impressed, for Roy was about to face the most ruthless criminal in the country. Before the trip, his superior taught Roy to gain the trust of his enemies. He had to disguise himself as a real criminal. Roy was overjoyed. What's the point of pretending? Roy followed the truck. He soon reaches the enemy's lair. But he was so intent on finding the diamonds, he'd forgotten all about his cover. But his efforts were not in vain. Roy was thrilled. But just then, a man put a gun to his head. He's Roy's former best mate, but he'd always stabbed him in the back. This time was no different. The man tried to kill Roy to silence him. But suddenly, the carriage shakes violently. He was hoisted into the air. When they landed, they realized they had been surrounded by robbers to save his life. Roy lied about being a cold-blooded killer when the boss didn't believe him. He then asked his teammates to show them what they were made of. The boss eyed Roy suspiciously. He handed over a gun. If Roy shot and killed one of his men, then he believes he's not a cop. In the face of a man who betrayed his brother, Roy doesn't hesitate for a moment. But he couldn't hit the man. But it pissed off the boss, killing him. Roy hesitantly raised his gun, but couldn't bring himself to do it. His cover was about to be blown. Luckily, the police arrived, just in time. Gunshots rang out. The scene is thrown into chaos. The men took advantage of the opportunity to take the diamonds. The car was started and fled. Roy was reluctant. He hastily jumps into the van. The lorry accelerates all the way, straight to the national border. It was about to hit. In desperation, Roy had to jump out of the car and run for his life. He found a random police car. He stepped on the gas and went after it. But there was only one round left. The odds were against him. Roy had an idea. He then found a flare gun, straight into the cab of the truck. Inside, smoke filled the room. Room. It was impossible to see the road. Taking this opportunity, Roy rushed to overtake the truck. As a friend, he has tolerated countless betrayals. As a police officer, he had to get rid of evil. Back at the border, his partner confessed he was actually wired. His identity as a thief had long been revealed. Roy rubbed his head in embarrassment. It seems the diamonds are no longer his. But his partner said, actually, we have no right to arrest you. Because you're in Mexico. Roy was so excited, he couldn't control his hands. He said a relieved goodbye to his friend. And then, he pulled out the big diamond and lived happily ever after.